So this next section of the show is called, Is This a Good Idea? So I'm going to give you ideas, and I've really thought very hard about these. These are things that I think would really help um, the community. I have tips. I just want to know your honest opinion. Okay. okay. Are these, your, these are your ideas? These are my ideas. Okay. Okay, so is this a good idea? Let's say you're on a sales call, and at the end of the sales call, you know, you're closing out. You've done your whole sales pitch, and then you end it with saying, I bet you won't buy my product. I bet you won't do it. I bet you're too poor. Well, that's fucking stupid. You don't think that'll work? He only he would work with someone from New York. That's it. That would work. Hey, I'm from fucking New York. I got fucking money. No, you don't. You poor bitch. Well, what if I said it with like a New York accent? I bet you won't buy it. I bet you're too poor. I bet you don't have any money to your name, son, sweetheart. That might work. That, that was better. That might work. You know, yeah, I, I think that um, if you have somebody with an incredible ego, it'll work. Other than that, you might have a dip in sales, maybe. Um, so here's something that I, another closing technique. Okay. Um, so when they say no, you say, well, today is opposite day. So no means yes. Did you learn that from Dan Locke? I learned that from my son, who's hot work. Oh. He always says today is opposite day. Oh, okay. Sounds like a damn lock technique. Yeah. I feel like it was, I really thought about that one really hard yeah. and I thought it would really work and convert. I, I think it, I think it would because, you know, we're letting four-year-olds decide their gender now. So they sound like they got their shit together. So I'd listen to him. Okay. Next one. I've gone through my sales pitch and at the end I say, so do we have a deal or are you going to make the worst mistake of your life? Uh good you know why it's good why is because that's actually funny i feel like somebody would laugh at that and if you can make people laugh you disarm them so i think that's good that's a legitimate yes so the next question is you give them extreme shame and guilt if they don't buy from you so if they don't oh, buy yeah. from you you tell them that you can't pay your mortgage and your kids will be left on the street good yeah yeah and then what you should do is you should write a letter explaining that send it to the ftc and be like, just so you guys know, I'm on the up and up. This is how I'm doing it. Just wanted to preemptively sort of mitigate any investigation you might have into me by letting you know up front. Full transparency. Full transparency. Okay, so in thinking about cutting costs mm -hmm. in business, you know, there's always ways to cut costs. And so um, some advice that I wanted to give to the world, and I would love to see if you agree, is that you should hire your children and work them day and night because there are no labor laws against how much you can work your children. Um, I think that's a good idea. I think we should totally do that. Um, I think you should probably also feed them only Chinese food just to get them in the vibe. Mm, you know, lots of caffeine, coffee. Get coffee, lo mein. Um, you know, make sure it's really hot in the room. Because mm. if it's hot in the room, um, they're gonna sweat, and if they sweat, they're gonna feel like they're doing something. You know, and uh, you just gotta make sure you you gotta get the vibe right. Sweatshop. I think what's good too is as a parent, you can be like. If they ask, why am I doing this? You can just be like, because I said so. Yeah, and then you slap them. Yeah. A few times. Um, yeah, hard. Like that's just discipline. If you slap them. Discipline. Well, if you slap them hard enough, you, you don't have to slap them again. So it's actually, it, you know, you're actually being um, kind. Right. Teaching them about work ethic. Yeah, and not to ask any fucking questions. Exactly. Okay, so... High ticket offers. I had this really big idea for years. Okay. About, you know, people always have questions about how to create a high ticket offer. So this is an idea that anybody could do. Okay. So you go on Facebook and you write a post and you say, if you love your children, comment, I do. So then everyone starts commenting, I do, I do, I do, I do. And wait till like hundreds of people have said, I do. And maybe you've even tagged prominent members of society so that everybody says I do. And then you go back and you edit the post and you put, if you'd like to take it in the butt, comment, I do. I'm actually going to. And then you screenshot everybody that said I do. And then you send them the message and you say, hey, Bob, I have a screenshot of you saying that you like stuff. 
And then, yeah. And then you say, but I won't tell anybody if you give me $5,000. That is such a good idea that I'm going to do it right now. If you love your children, comma, comment, I do. This is how I have to do this. You can't tell me that and me not do it. Like, you, you can't. But that's too good. That cannot go left undone. So, I'm, you're the in the butt girl. Yeah. yeah. I get it. I mean, I didn't peg you for that, but now, now we know. So, <laughs> no. Yeah. Yep. I'm hoping we get a lot of comments so I can That's change right. it. Do it. You can change it while we're here. Yes. Yes. I'm, I'm glad that you agree with it because I agree. With I just it. didn't know if it was a good idea. We're going to be in a lawsuit in a year over who actually wrote that joke. And uh, I'm going to put a lawyer up because I want credit. All right. So I want to play 15 questions. Okay. I actually don't know how many questions this is, but I'm just going to ask them. Basic questions here and there. Okay, favorite book? 48 Laws of Power. Um, so I know you do affiliate stuff. So I was wondering if you would promote my book. And it's called The Art of Quitting. Aim so low that you'll never be disappointed in yourself. Um, yeah, I'll, I'll promote it. Yeah. I think it would reach your audience. Oh, yeah. But then you, you never feel shame about like, like your goal could just be like, hey, I just want to make a sandwich today and then you yeah and then and then it's like or you could make a million dollars so there's always that's too high though and if you don't reach it you feel it's you always reach really like you give your bar so low that well you i'm always, always hit it well see i'm always about low expectations so here's a little trick i had with women i would always tell them up front i had a micro penis and I don't, but it's not like, you know, Peter North or anything. So they're always like... Yeah, so then they were just like, oh, wow, it's not that bad. You know, worked every time. Really good. Yeah. That's really good dating advice. Closing. Okay, so I have a another book about automated processes. So I like to use software and automate everything. So I have another book that I was wondering if you promote. It's called How to Make Money Even If You're Dead. That's good, too. I like it. Yeah. What's your favorite movie and why? Wolf of Wall Street. And why? Martin Scorsese. It's just so well done. So well done. And it shows the, you know why I like it? Why? Because it shows what happens when you make money your God. And I made money my God for a while and it cost me everything. And so uh, now it's just like my Thor. You know, like little tiny God. You know, not like a little baby God, little baby God who like is like kind of not that jacked in between movies, but then he like loads up, you know, in the later. Yeah. So. Okay. What is your favorite quote? Um, Steve Jobs. It is uh, productivity, something like productivity is not about what you do. It's about what you don't do. That's why I, if, if, if. Somebody comes into town and they're like, hey, we should catch up. I'm like, no. Why? I'm, I'm busy. I'm doing work. Well, I'm in town. I'm like, okay. what? So, like, it better be important. Like, I'm not just going to have lunch with you and suck three hours of my day mm. for just because, you know. Yeah. So, I, I agree. I agree. So, I actually have a few quotes that I want to share with you. Okay. And I would like to see if you find them inspiring. Uh, stop worrying about your future. You don't have one. I love it because it really makes you focus on the now, you know? Right. Or it makes you feel like you're going to die soon. And yeah, makes them that. Yeah. Which would make the now pretty important. Right. Yeah. Uh, stop wondering if you're good enough. You're not. You're, you're not. You're really not. It's true. Right. You know, you're not. I never got good at anything by thinking I was good at it. Yeah. Yeah. It's real. Uh, unfollow your dreams. Yeah, because there's no such thing as a dream. That's BS. Dreamers don't make any mo money. Uh, achievers do. And uh, to me, if you fall in love with the process, the dreams will come. And the dream that you have is not the dream. 
that you'll have, that you'll want in five years. Everybody changes their mind about what they want in five years. So it makes zero sense to set a goal and a dream and try to achieve it because you're going to change your mind. You're going to be a different person in five years. You fall in love with the process. Oh, that's different. I love it. I love it. What is one fact about you that surprises people? Uh, I'm Muslim. <laughs> yeah. You look like that. I know. I tried to hug him earlier. He's like, stay away. I don't, I don't touch women. I don't hug. In any other country, if, if a woman goes up to you and goes like this and you go like this, they, they like, Reckon. they get it. They're like, oh, he's, you know, but in America, it's like, <laughs> yeah, you're a terrible person because you respect your wife enough not to touch other women. How dare you be an actual good man? And then you're like, oh, now I have to explain it. You know, it's a lot of work. Yeah. Yeah. Right. What is your biggest pet peeve? My biggest pet peeve is when someone says they want to have something they've never had, but they want to, they don't want to do something they've never done to get it. They don't want to do the work. Yeah. They want to hand it to them. I would rather peel my face off, stick it to that wall, and watch my face slide down the <laughs> wall to the floor than hear someone say that. Yeah. I, I feel you on that one. Okay, last question. And then I want to check on your Facebook post. Oh, yes. I'm excited. What's the most embarrassing thing that's ever happened to you? Oh, fuck. Oh, Fucking Chick-fil-A. Okay. Where's this guy? I'll never eat Chick-fil-A again. Did you? Okay. So I ate Chick-fil-A for the first time. Okay. And I got on a interstate highway. It was on my way to go to one of those events at a fair. Mm -hmm. And um, <clears throat> I, uh, uh, I was with my buddy and my stomach was messed up. I'd never eaten Chick-fil-A before, ever. Mm -hmm. And it was not good and there was no exits, and um, uh, I couldn't wait. And we finally find an exit. Um, we go up to the gas station, and my friend is like, what, my friend really needs to use the bathroom? Where's your bathroom? He's like, oh no, it's for customers only. Um, and at that point, you know, I'm super embarrassed. This, I've never had anything like that happen to me before, ever. Um, and the guy was arguing, like, I, I don't want to give you the key. So I took my hand, I shoved it down my pants. I took a big old pile of give me the fucking key. And I slapped it down on the counter. And I said, give me the fucking key. And he gave me the key. And that is the most Florida thing I've ever done. And, and the most embarrassing. That is how Dan Henry shit his pants. Uh, yeah. And now my best friend, who has always threatened to tell that story, has no <laughs> leverage over me. <laughs> and my son did this a few days ago. He pooped on the floor, and then he tried to clean it up with his toothbrush. Oh, wow. See, that's what public school out. does for you. He brushed his teeth with it afterwards. Just to teach him a lesson. Oh, that, see, that's how you do it. That's good parenting. And then I slapped yeah. him. That's, 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 that's what corporal punishment should be. Yeah. Yeah, if you poop and use toothbrush, yeah. now you got to brush your teeth with the poop. He won't forget it. He'll never do it again. Nope. Right. Post. All right, let's check. Oh, my God, it works so good. <laughs> if you like to take it in the butt, comma, comment, I do. Or you could... Look at this. So we screen record so that you can scroll Hold on. Down. I do. I do. I just don't like them sometimes. I do. I do. That was my only decided, the only reason I decided to switch from the corporate to the digital world. And your challenge last year really helped me. <laughs> Hold on. There's more. It's most of the time an option. I do. Wow. Hold on. I get it. Great. This is great. Screenshot. Okay. Time to make some money. <laughs> I'm blaming you. I want all the blame. I want it all. I know. I do too. It's, it's a secret. It's just, it really is. You know what it is? It's when the world doesn't find something funny, it makes it even funnier for me. Oh, yeah. It's just like, we just. Do you do know it. why that is? Because you have extreme 
self-worth because you don't need to entertain others to feel good. You can simply feel good by entertaining yourself. And it actually feels even better when everyone else is like confused. Yeah. Or offended. Oh, I love it. It's like cocaine. It's like, just give me the... the <laughs> yeah. Great. That was offensive powder. I feel like we've had a really great session, Dan. So uh, thank you. Thank you. Oh, for the goat race. Everybody, we've had such a great session with Dan Henry. Thank you so much. And can we get an update on how the blackmailing goes with your... Yeah, I'll let you know. Okay. I'll let you know. I'll send you the screenshot. <laughs> Cannot wait. Thank you so much for joining. Of course. And we will see you guys on the next one. Later.